this is Jamie at Useful Knowledge. So I just bought a used camper that I'm going to be using at the hunting camp. Now I got a great deal on this camper and the reason is it had a, a sizable roof leak. So I searched around and finally settled on Eternabond tape to repair this roof. So stay tuned, I'm going to show you exactly what we did to repair this camper's roof and get ready for hunting season. This is a product we're going to be using. It's Eternal Bond. It's roof and leak repair tape. And for the back and the front of this RV, I'm going to use the 6 inch repair tape. And then there's a 4 inch that I'm going to use on the sides. Okay, for starters, I want to show you what we're up against. The rubber membrane of this roof has actually separated in the back from the OSB underneath. Now we got to this just in the nick of time. We actually opened it up and let it dry for about two weeks. And what we're going to do, we're going to clean this up and we're going to repair this with Eternal Bond tape. And what we're going to do, we're going to use Eternal Bond tape over all the edges of this camper roof. Okay, we're going to let this dry for about 24 hours, and in the meantime, we're going to clean off this roof, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. So everywhere your tape's going to go, you need to clean it, and you need to clean it well. So what I'm going to use is a 50-50 mix of vinegar and water, and I'm using a, just a shop towel because they actually hold up really well. Rub everything just like that. You're going to go all the way down the camper, and it's going to be dirty. You need to chain shop towels often and get all the dirt you can off of there. Also, you're going to clean the sides as well because that's where your tape's going to go. Okay, an important note. If your camper has this inset trim on the side of the roof, you need to remove it. Okay, basically you're going to remove it and you see the screws up under here. And you're going to clean not only the roof, you're going to also clean up under this inset trim area. Remove the inset trim and start cleaning up under there. That way your tape will have a nice edge to glue to. Okay, like I said, we're taking off this inset trim. So I want to show you what we're running into. So obviously water was getting behind this inset trim because it's really moldy. Okay, I want to show you how clean we got this. As you can see where we took that inset trim out. We got this really clean using a mixture of 50% water and 50% vinegar. This came out really nice. This roof is clean where the tape's going to go. And we are about to start putting on some internal bond tape. Okay, what I'm doing here, I'm going to mark about two feet of this top of this RV where the tape, the edge of the tape is actually going to go. That way I can get this started and get it started straight. I'm going to mark that. I've got a mark right here, and then I'm just going to scoot down and mark it again. Okay, so that will give me a guideline on where to place the tape to get it started straight. Okay, to get started, I'm going to place this Eternal Bond tape into the channel where we took off the inset trim. And then we're just going to start pulling it across. Now, this does have a backing that you pull off. It's not easy to pull off, but once you get it going, you can pull it off. Just be careful how you start it. That's the biggest thing, is, is to start it. And don't press on it until you're ready to, to actually make it stick. There's my marking, so I know I'm lined up. So now I can press on this. What I'm going to do, is I'm going to go ahead and roll this part right here. Okay. It's not pretty, but it is functional. What it's going over is not pretty. This is a hunting camper, but it's going to absolutely make this weatherproof. So that's the whole goal. This thing is somewhat leaking right now. Okay, we're just going to start going across. We've got it lined up. 
and we're going to take this thing all the way across. Okay, you need to go all over this with a roller. Something that supposedly activates the glue. Now, I don't know if it activates the glue, but I know it certainly helps get some of the air out and makes this bond that much better. So you can take a look. Now, what this went over looks exactly like that. It was a gnarled up mess. But this Eternal Bond tape actually did really well over the top. Okay, if I've learned anything about the Eternal Bond tape, it is to get it straight where you want it, and then basically you just slide the backing out like that. And then you roll it. And you can tell this is going over a pretty rough area of this camper roof, and it's, it's just doing great. The stuff I put down yesterday is solid. It hasn't moved. Nothing's come up. I cleaned this RV with a 50% mixture of water and vinegar. And so everything's holding really good. So if I, if my recommendation would be a 50-50 water vinegar mix to clean the top of this roof. Okay, and we're just going to keep putting it down. All right, I just want to show you where I'm working here. And you can see how bad this roof actually was on the back. It was actually leaking pretty, pretty bad on the inside. So we've got it dried out and we got it fixed and really confident that this Eternal Bond tape is gonna do the job. So basically I put tape on the outside, I lapped it over and now I'm running another run of six inch tape along the outside edge of the original tape. Okay, well there it is. We've covered the edges of our entire camper with this Eternal Bond tape and it was really easy to put down. So thanks for watching and we hope you gained some useful knowledge on Eternal Bond tape and how to fix a camper roof that's leaking.